Hello and welcome back at what should have been my uh, bike presentation video of my new GSXS 1000 just bought it about 3-4 weeks ago and um, now I'm heading to get it oh, get it service her first 600 mile service and uh, because I lost my previous footage because uh, I formatted the uh, SD card on my camera uh, I said to myself yeah well I'm still going there so I might as well take a short video and tell everyone what I think about this bike since I own it, it's not that long that I own it but I just want to tell you what I like about this bike what I can compare with the uh, previous model and uh, obviously the cons because there, there should be some of them starting uh, with the riding position uh, the handlebars are wider compared to the uh, previous one plus they are standing higher up so they will give you a more straight up riding position is more comparable to an MT-09 the uh, the upper body position but the pegs are still sporty inclined so they're sitting a bit far behind you <coughs> sorry and uh, you, still, you still got a sporty feeling a sporty uh, riding position because this is basically what it is it's a 1000 cc bike for for the people who want to go out and have some fun on the twisties and uh, have the power to do whatever they want but they don't really want to have the full uh, super sports fair bike as the riding position and the riding style and what whatsoever he likes to trash the corners i'll tell you he loves it he loves it still he still got the uh, the name the apex predator because it well deserves it another difference from the uh, from the older version is the uh, the front wheel control because this one has got ride by wire compared to the uh, old cable uh, set up the, the other one used to have and obviously by doing that we can fit a standard with a uh, quick shifter up and down and auto blipper which is amazing uh, since I've got it it never felt like it, it's not doing its job properly I, uh, my previous one I had to retrofit one of the uh, quick shifters the mirrors on this model because they're sitting higher up I can actually see around my shoulders and I'm, I'm a big I'm a big guy six six feet three so yeah I can see around me which is a um, big plus it's a big plus on fuel economy if you're into that kind of thing because well the fuel prices these days my first fuel tank uh, I had to refill after 150 miles and um, the one I filled up yesterday is 160 so far plus uh, I've got two bars left uh, I had three bars before starting this video so it's not that bad. I mean, uh, they claim they can uh, you can actually do up to 200 miles on a on a tank, and uh, you know I can't say they're wrong. I can't say they're wrong. Being a sports naked bike, it, it's got a, a a harder suspension compared to the MTs compared to the other bikes, but the ride is not too bad. Not too bad. As you know, I was between this one, uh, the uh, S1000 GT plus the S1000R, uh, the uh, BMW. It all came down to prices, to be fair, because um, between BMW and this one, because that is more expensive. The GT is not as sporty as this is, and um, I like the GT because one of the downs on this one, one of the cons is you haven't got any wind protection, so. For example, me, I'm commuting, I'm commuting on the motorway, so when you go up 100 miles an hour When you go up 70 miles an hour uh, All the wind is in your chest So it's got no, no protection whatsoever uh, So what I had on my previous bike, I had a Chinese uh, 20 pounds, whatever was, uh, windscreen It was a small one, it was this high And um, it will deflect the wind off my chest and over my helmet and uh, read a uh, little uh, helmet to the breast and uh, it was pretty good actually and uh, the uh, options I've got with this one are well I'll put it quite expensive I mean you can find them in Italy for the uh, PGP whatever they call and they're about 150 something pounds plus about 30 pounds in shipping and they look ridiculous they I don't know they just go up and down you know, will, will be good on protection but you need you need you need something to look good as well to sit the bike and the Chinese they haven't really started doing them for some reason come on come on Chinese people come on just do something nice for us please and cheap as well I 
I'm not gonna bother you with all the uh, technical uh, specifications because you've probably seen it many many times it's got a 1000 cc horse in the engine it's got 152 horsepower it's got some torques I think it's 78 or something uh, the bike has such a smooth power delivery from bottom to the top and um, the only kick off I've seen because I had to uh, keep it under 6,000 RPMs but you open up once in a while it opens up after 7,000 it really opens up that induction noise is uh, just for my likings I like it I don't have an exhaust yet because I'm, I'm looking to get the uh, CS racing uh, the one thing I haven't got is so far is because they haven't done one specific of this model, they done it for the previous one and I have done major uh, modification in terms of uh, exhaust so it should fit they say but the other thing is they uh, they can't remap it because it's going to be a full system so all the flaps off and everything so they will have to remap it and nobody uh, as I, I was told they, nobody does them so far for some reason Another con for this bike, the thing that I loved in the uh, GT version and the uh, BM are uh, the dials, yeah, the screen. So you've got all the information that you need. Well, as you can see, what's in white, like the speedo, the uh, the uh, RPM rev counter, uh, what gear you into, what traction control, you can actually see those and the fuel uh, fuel gauge. But the other, uh, the onboard computer, the uh, time, the uh, miles left or whatever, or, or every other information you can't see it because they, they put it up in blue and no, you just can't see it. And the time, the clock is so small, it's tiny, it's tiny, you have to squeeze in. I'm not that old, I don't wear, uh, wear, uh, I don't wear glasses but still I can't see it properly. They could have gone for, you know, a, uh, a screen like they put on the GTs, the same bike, and that one has got connectivity for your phone, so you can use uh, the Suzuki app and connect to your sat nav, to your I don't know, to your uh, contact list, and uh, all sorts. Now he's going for the first service, and uh, I haven't seen major flaws with it uh, except these. Uh, later stuff so far and I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated so dropped my bike for service and uh, the guys at the Wolf and Growth motorcycle gave me a uh, courtesy bike to have to uh, not to have to wait around for three hours because beside the servicing uh, the uh, alarm they fitted uh, they might be faulty and uh, well put it this way my neighbors are not impressed with my alarm starts beeping uh, just for no reason at all, there's nothing next to the bike, so yeah. And they gave me this, the older version of the uh, S1000. So I can have a back-to-back -back test ride with them. And the first impression is the new one is way more comfortable than all why, but it just feels more comfortable. My uh, the seat might be better on the on the new one because my my uh, my rear just hurts a bit. And uh, this feels like a old bike I don't know why it just feels old old outdated compared to the new one and it takes a lot more gas because um i've just filled it up only done a few miles i've ridden it in most of it the same manner i would uh, i've done with uh, with mine but it looks like it's taking more more more, more petrol than uh, than the new one on the good side this one's got better tires because the uh, download that the new model came out with are uh, really good in uh, hot conditions. They don't really be, uh, you don't really ride them out in the damp or uh, real cold or wet because they perform probably 30% that they do on uh, on uh, hot conditions. Thank you for watching and uh, I shall see you next time. Till then, ride safe. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up.
up to the party. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. <laughs>